All right, let's take a look at this question here. Determine the lowest common denominator for the pair of fractions using multiples. So here's our two fractions, okay? And what we're looking for is we're looking for the lowest common denominator. So we know these are our denominators, 4 and 8. So we'll write those out. Our denominators are 4 and 8. So what does lowest common denominator mean? Well, a common denominator means, common means the same, okay? So we're looking for a multiple of 4 and 8, okay? And we're looking for the lowest multiple of 4 and 8, okay? And again, this multiple must be the same. So it has to be the same for 4 and 8. So, and we can see we're using multiples to find the lowest common denominator, okay? Another, another w way of saying lowest common denominator is lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple. So we're looking for the lowest common multiple of 4 and 8. Well, let's look at the multiples of 4, okay? Well, we know 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, well, let's stop there and let's see if, let's start with 8 and see if we come across a similar multiple. Okay, so 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Well, as you can see, we already have a common multiple. Okay, and remember, we're looking for our lowest common multiple or our lowest common denominator. Okay, so our lowest common denominator we can see here is 8, because 8 is, an, is, a, is a multiple for both 4 and 8. Okay, so this is our lowest common multiple or our lowest common denominator. And again, it's our lowest common denominator because 4 and 8 are our denominators in our fractions. Okay, so we found those. So that's our answer for this question. You could just make sure that you clearly circle, if you're given a question like this, that you clearly circle 8, okay, so that the marker knows that 8 is your answer.